What's poppin' T-Squad? It's your girl, Keisha, and I'm here with tonight's All T, All Shay, Love, and Hip Hop Atlanta, Season 8, Episode 14, Review. So we start off tonight's episode with Pooh and her dick <laughs> at her photo shoot. Mimi comes by to see her, and Moo tell, Moo, Pooh says uh, that she's coming out with a makeup line because people always asking about her eyeshadows. If people ask and poo about her eyeshadows, people ask me how the fuck I lost weight. <laughs> and we all know that shit ain't true. Girl, ain't nobody ask you about no fucking eyeshadow. First of all, since you've been on your show, you've had the same eye look. You got a little brown in your crease, a little tan on your lid, and them thick-ass lashes. And then you put that ugly-ass blue line underneath your, your uh, lash line. Girl, ain't nobody ask you about no goddamn makeup. Then you got that ugly ass granny berry lipstick on your lips. That satin. Don't nobody wear satin lipstick except for old bitches. Girl, ain't nobody ask you about that Mary Kay ghost number five. <laughs> makeup girl please ain't nobody go buy that shit but your drag queen friends down at the bar <laughs> they like to tuck they dicks like you do girl bye so Mimi say I went and I met with Stevie and Faith and we took a picture and when I tell you Ty lost it she fucking lost it boo I don't know what the fuck is his problem <laughs> and then we see Ty confronting her over the situation. Um, she been going to like Israel or Jerusalem or some shit playing basketball overseas for like six, seven months. Now she back and she feeling some type of weight from when Mimi met up with Stevie J and um, Faith to film. So Pooh says she don't know what the problem is with the other cast members, why they don't like her. And Mimi says that the group thinks if she'll play Carly like that and expose all her teeth that she'll do the same to them. And I was like, duh. Ding, 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 ding. So Jock interviews a bunch of booger wolves. And I literally mean them bitches look like some shit that crawl underneath your steps at night. For a spot at his salon, all them hoes look like they had to clap at one point in their life and look like they pussy smell like Benson and Hedges menthol. Like, I don't know where the fuck they found them bitches from. Kirk and Scrap come by and ask him if he told his ex-wife and his BMs that he's proposed to Kendra. And he said, no, nah, he ain't told them yet, but he planned on it. Um, Kirk then invites them all to his seminar that he's throwing. And Scrap says he plans to invite Sierra. And that could be like their little first introduction out as, you know, some people that's talking because they're not together. So Kirk tells uh, them that Rashida met with Jasmine but hasn't told him anything about the meeting. And they warn him like, well, your, baby, your wife ain't telling you shit. It's for a reason, like she hiding something. Or either she mad about something. So, Jock meets with his ex-wife, Alex, and his BM, Cena, Cena, whatever that was on her, like, four or five seasons back with the twins. And remember, he was on her licking chocolate and shit off her feet, some nasty-ass shit. It was disgusting. He tells them he's going to propose to Kendra. They just both look at each other like, you want to go first, bitch? <laughs> They, uh, the ex-wife says she likes Kendra and that Kendra has, handles them and all their children very well. They ask him if he's ready for commitment. He says that he tatted her name on his penis and if they want to see it. They was like, nigga, no, we don't want to see that shit. But they do say they want to sit down and talk with her themselves. So Mimi talks about Ty and Stevie in her little voiceover as she's folding up laundry, going at it on social media. This happened about two months ago or so, two or three months ago, where they were going back and forth on social media and uh, she basically Ty basically blasted him for not being a good father, just being a show dad. He only um, fuck with Eva when it's time to film for the show and other than that, he's MIA. And then Stevie basically said they need to get their own motherfucking kid. So she and Ty sit down and talk and Ty says that Stevie doesn't pay child support and the only time he sees Eva is when he has to work on the show and I 100% believe it. I believe every motherfucking word of it. Mimi say, I don't go back and forth with him because he's stupid. <laughs> Ty say, if your baby daddy keep interfering in our relationship, I can't keep doing this. And Mimi was like, really? Really Ty? What about my daughter? What about Eva? Are you really fucking doing this right now? So Carly goes to the mall to go talk to Rashida either after hours or before the mall even opened because that mall was dead as fuck when none of the lights on. I was like, they obviously filmed this either before the mall opened or after the mall closed. And I'm thinking it was in the morning. So um, all I can concentrate on is Carly's dry ass makeup. 
Why in the fuck does her face look like the Sahara Desert? What is going on? I had to talk about this shit on my IG post because I was like, what? what in the hell is Carly makeup so damn dry? Her shit is parched, my nigga. Her face look like the Sahara fucking desert. Who is doing her makeup? Do they believe she? I don't know if she got on a matte makeup. Do they believe in a spring mist afterwards? What is going on here? Her pores can't breathe. That's why the motherfuckers are so pronounced. Like, Jesus, be a fence. Look at all of that. Girl, switch your makeup artist immediately. I mean, her shit looked horrible. Horrible. Well, she needs to switch foundation. She needs to get a dewy foundation. She needs to get some pore uh, filler. That shit was just horrible. It was so dry. It was like, help me. Help me. <laughs> That's what her pores was saying. God damn it, I felt bad for them pores. So, um... She tells me, uh, Rashida about the counseling session she had with Mo. And she, then she tiptoeing around the subject, being all extra dramatic and shit. And then finally admits that he's being verbally abusive to her and aggressive. And she's afraid to talk to him. And then Carly started crying. And I swear to God, I heard her poor say, thank you. <laughs> Them pores was like, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We got some type of moisture, bitch. If only for a little while. I found I frankly think that this is her putting on. I felt like she took a took a cue from the old Robin Givens Mike Tyson um interview with Barbara Walters back in the day or whoever the fuck that was when she blasted um Mike Tyson about being abusive. Now Robin Givens was telling the truth, but in this case, I think that Carly is putting on. Remember, Carly is an actress. Remember, she has had several acting roles. The bitch does, does know how to cry on cue. I just don't believe her. I really don't. I really feel like this is just another storyline for her and that she's making this dude look bad just for a storyline. Carly switch out niggas too much to be letting some nigga verbally abuse her. I don't even believe that shit. Um, now if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I just don't believe it. So I go in the studio with Hiram and Pooh, and she's happy to be working with them after Sierra embarrassed her. Akbar says, so you're the Pooh, Sierra was talking about. They talk, and Pooh says everyone is against her. Akbar says she ain't really feeling Sierra herself right now. And Akbar says the girls gang up on her, especially Shekinah in Tokyo. Girl, bye. You cause all the drama that you are experiencing on this show, sis. Sir. So Akbar says, I don't think she kind of liked me. I got a baby by the dude she used to mess with. And she said I went behind her back, but I was never her friend. And Akbar says they need to pull up on the girls at their next event. So this is why the hoes don't like y'all asses now. So Carly getting her hair done by Shekana, but she's still um acting all sad and shit and say she trying to figure out what's gonna happen between her and Mo and she trying to get them on the same page and she kind of give her advice and then she kind of tells her about the jock situation and how when she went to the shop um the girl that he worked with was basically saying that jock be trying to talk to her and other stylists now she tells carly specifically not to repeat this because this is her say she got this from the girl but she don't know if this is true or not but she says she basically only told carly to make her feel better because you know gossiping is carly's life but we all knew carly was gonna repeat the shit this is what her messy ass does so mimi goes to the studio to see stevie mimi is like what is your deal why are you going back and forth to my girl? And Stevie says she the one that went for the juggler. And Mimi say, if you want to be an adult. <laughs> and Stevie say, be a what? An adult. <laughs> and she say, an adult. <laughs> She's like, that's my girl. And Stevie say, you sure that's your girl? And Mimi say, I will slap the shit out of you. <laughs> and Stevie say, I'm not saying she my girl. I'm just saying that she your girl. And Mimi and her confessional say, his passive aggressive behavior lets me know that he's still in love with me, but I'm not in love with him. I don't want him. <laughs> and I was like, you sure about that, bitch? I wonder how Faith felt about that shit when she said that. So it's Carly's sexology graduation and Carly's acting all down and shit again. Like she is milking the fuck out this situation, bitch. The girls peep it and ask her what the hell is going on. And she reiterate the story about the counseling session. But she left, leaves out that he was a, 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 a verbally aggressive to them. Um, all I could concentrate on was Spice Lensless glasses. Them glasses was 
fire, bitch. I need them glasses ASAP. So then Cinna walks in and her and Carly talk. They cool now despite their rocky past. And she tells, uh, they start talking or whatever. And she tells Carly that Jock is supposed to be proposing to Kendra. And then, of course, uh, Carly brings up the whole situation about him supposedly talking to the girls at the shop. So, uh, it's the uh, seminar. Scrap is there, but Sierra is 30 minutes late. He don't know where the fuck she at. So as the seminar goes on, Akbar walks in and Shekinah looking like, what the fuck is she doing here? Shekinah opens up the floor for questions for Rashida and Kirk. Akbar gets on the mic even though Scrap trying to stop her and blasts Shekinah for being all in her ex mix when he had somebody else. Shekinah in her confession say, I don't even know this girl and I didn't even know of her until she started messing with my ex. So why is she still messing? I mean, bringing up stuff that happened over years ago. Then Akbar said, you always throwing shots, you punk bitch. Akbar didn't try to like jump to try to get to her. Security, of course, jumps in. They uh, stop Shekinah for coming off the stage. Shekinah was like, you think I'm going to risk everything I got to touch her? You out your motherfucking mind. I was like, come on, Shekinah. I'm not about to lose my shit for this dusty rag. You bitch that ain't got shit. They wear the same Louis Vuitton boots every motherfucking episode. Girl, bye. So... That was my review of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I give tonight's uh, uh, episode a C minus. It was all right. I'm just excited for the Heels, bitch. The Heels new beginnings tonight. I'm about to get my whole entire motherfucking life with Brody, with Whitney, my bitch, Ardrina, Justin, Bobby, sexy ass, um, uh, uh, Spencer, Stephanie Pratt. All the OGs is back except for Lauren and Lowe, but I don't give a fuck. They about and um and um Kristen, but I'm here for it, bitch. I'm ready. I'm so ready. This is like my my early 20s, the early 2000s all over again. I'm about to lose my shit. I'm so fucking excited. Thank you all for watching this review. A new episode of Since You Asked Me Up Wednesday. Um, new reviews this week on probably Black and Crew Pose. Uh, what else I got this week? Uh, Black and Crew Pose. I forgot the other ones, but they coming. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.